There is a belief in Zambia that if you do not get malaria regularly, at least every one or two years, you are in trouble. You will suffer from such a heavy dose of the disease that you will never recover. Mandone Motale seems to be one of the lucky ones. Mosquitoes have faithfully attacked him every year since his teens. I was attacked by malaria four weeks ago. It was quite a, a serious attack, such that I was brought at the clinic by my wife. Just like in 1989, the doctor first gave me chloroquine. I didn't get well. Again, he gave me chloroquine. I didn't get well. He gave me chloroquine for three times. I was not responding. And then he gave me Fancida and I responded. So from then I've been using Fancida. Again, it has come to prove that Fancida can't work with me because I failed to respond. Already we had this burden of the incidence and morbidity of malaria really almost choking us. And we knew that chloroquine was not helping us. So wasn't that a waste of money? We decided we would go on to the, this new drug, Coatem. Uh, we would somehow have to find the resources. We may not be able to meet all that we required. But perhaps we would uh, find the resources as a start to show the world that this actually does work. Coatum was an artemisinin-based drug which could cost up to 40 times more than chloroquine. The Zambian government had to defend its choice. So the criticism was you don't have the resources. Uh, why do you go for an expensive drug? It was a very difficult time and we said, look, like anywhere else in the world, governments must take the leadership. It's either you agree with us or you don't. And this is why sometimes we've been looked upon with the suspicion by our colleagues to say, how can you go into the unknown? Um, how sure are you that you're going to succeed? Well, I, I think really um, life is about taking risks. The Zambians called us in the summer and said, hey, this is going too slowly. The malaria season starts at the end of December. Malaria will peak in January, February, March in Zambia. The coatum hasn't reached us yet. We need it more quickly. So we called up Novartis and by a tri triangular collaboration between the drug company, the Zambians, and the Global Fund, we got this product to Zambia quickly. Today, 28 out of Zambia's 72 districts get ACT. The government aims to use the rest of its two-year Global Fund grant to scale up delivery to reach all of its health centers with the new drug by the end of 2004. That is the, one of the greatest advantages of the Global Fund. You see, we agree on a certain program, but instances change, priorities change, and Global Fund has been really flexible. And in our view, this is how it's supposed to be. After all, we are on the ground and we are facing the situation as it changes every day. Throughout my life, if there is a disease that has given me problem with malaria. With the coming of Koete Mwamuapi, because it was like my family one day, they were teasing me, they were telling me that you, you don't respond to chloroquine. And if you can't respond to, to fancy now, then you go for quinine, which is the last in the, in, the to, in the dosage of malaria drugs. So in the end, you have no drug to respond to. <laughs> then he, when we came to the clinic, we were told there is this quiet I said, Ma, God has come to, to help me in the end.